Zuck the cuck drinks water like a duck, but he also drinks your data. So tell him and Google to shove your data up their swing swings by downloading the Brave browser. It's free, blocks online advertising, and protects your privacy and data from evil tech companies. You only see ads if you want to see them, and you get cryptocurrency for your attention. Don't let Zuck use you to make a buck. Download Brave by clicking on the link down below. Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am going to charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! All right, I did the original math on this one wrong, but now, now it makes more sense. Uh, hi, Aaron, I'm trying to make some life decisions that would appreciate your analysis of the debt worthiness of this. I want to get a degree in mechanical engineering. However, the only program that I can get into without relocating is a full-time program. It would be extremely difficult to work and keep a job up in this program. I knew people who are part-time who are engineering majors back in security days. I... If you're listening to this, I, look, I understand. I'm, not everyone's going to work full-time and go to school full-time. I got it. But everyone needs to man the fuck up here a little bit and be able to work a full-time job, whether that's going to school full-time or working full-time, and then a secondary part-time job. There's no way younger people, and, and it was the same in my, it's the same everywhere. You're not going to excel working 40 hours a week. And if you work sooner, you do 60 to 80 for a three to four year period of time, you will, it will pay dividends beyond what you can imagine. The, the debt savings alone, you will make a lot, it just, it'll pay off. I'm not expecting you to go to engineering school full time and work full time. You can work a student job, a security guard job, part time, to help ameliorate these costs, okay? And it will forge you into a stronger man or woman, not your, just talking to women in general, than this namby-pamby, life on easy mode bullshit. Well, I gotta go to school full time and I can't do anything else. Because then it, it really is why the fuck. I'm just in a bad mood today, guys, real bad mood, because it's just like, I have to lift up two gallons of milk. I'm like, and this is on my team. This is my team. This, you're not a Marxist. You're not Antifa. You're not a sociology major. <clears throat> so you cannot keep a full-time job. You can keep a part-time job. So the only way I can reasonably get this degree is if I take a loan to cover living expenses too. The breakdown is this. Rent and living expenses, $1,250. Tuition and books, thirteen hundred. A grant will cover seven thousand of tuition per year. So the little total loan I would need for four years is seventy-four thousand. All right, that's not bad if you're including living expenses, because that's that's pretty good actually. That seems like way too much debt, but engineers do have high salaries. My main worry is that the course will be too much because I have not taken math class in many years. So I don't know that I would hold a part-time job while studying. Need any more info? How much would this cost? Um, dude, before you do this. Okay, uh, it's a school in Canada. Current job really isn't that important to me, but you've already moved three times in the past year. Can't afford to do it again. Actively looking for better employment, though. Just to be clear, that price isn't just tuition learning expenses. Okay. 37, all right. Here's what you're going to do, dude. You're going to take the... You, you've moved three times in the past. You can't afford... Okay, all right, all right, enough. Knock it the fuck off. Before you jump on the next lily pad, you're going to see if you can do it first. So you're going to take online, free. Don't, don't, uh, don't go and pay for college courses. Don't commit to this plan yet. Find out what the first classes you got to take in, in math are. Go find a used book at the library or the used bookstore for 30 cents. And try to master that material first. Okay, that's what you're going to do. You're going to take your three Canadian dollars with Trudeau's pencil dick on it. And you're going to go buy yourself a Calc 1 book, 
uh, I don't know what, a linear algebra book, whatever it is, those first couple of math classes, you're gonna, you're gonna go down to the used bookstore and you're gonna buy them for 50 Canadian cents, which is one pubic hair of Clary, okay? And then you're gonna go through, each, and you're gonna go lesson to lesson to lesson, and you're going to try to teach yourself that math. And if you can do it and you understand it, then you can sign up for this college program. If you're like, oh, oh, geez, this isn't all. Oh, I, I can't get it. Then you're not doing this. You're not doing that plan because you can't do it. You need to sit the fuck down and fucking focus and see if you can do this math. Because if you can't, it's not going to take so, oh, well, I'll just need some foreigner from Asia who has a horrific accent, barely speaks English, teach me this. That'll do it. That's what I'm missing. No, you're not able to do it. So save yourself the 74 grand in four years of your life, assuming you made it that long, if you can't do it. Do what every young person for the past 30 years has failed to do. And that is assess whether or not you can do the fucking degree and whether you want to. Evaluate it. If you can do that math, yes, I think it's worth 74000 a year. Uh, or not a year, 74000 for all four. Because that includes living expenses. You would have had twenty five grand of living expenses no matter what. Um, I'm sorry, 12500 I doubled it. So that that's actually quite affordable. That's that's not bad. I mean, seventy four grand. Shoot, that's below twenty five grand a year in living expenses. Um, I I would you know for four years, four yeah I did that right. So that's that is actually quite affordable. That's worth seventy four grand going into debt. But I like I said, better be able to do that fucking math, and then you better have some kind of part time job where you can work on your studies. All right, there you go. Questions, answers, hassleconsulting.com. Links to everything down below. See you guys later. Toodles.